is Katie and I'd like to warmly welcome you. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering what my channel is all about, I publish tutorials and I share information about the tools that I use as a graphic designer, social media strategist, blogger, and the whole nine yards. Please feel free to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you won't miss another video. So today, I am pretty excited because I will be sharing a topic that's very close to my heart and that is Trello. That's what you are looking at your screen right now. And so without further ado, let's get down to our topic. For today's video, I'm going to discuss with you the basics of Trello. We will then progress to more in-depth topic in the future videos. This video was made for anyone that's totally just beginning with their Trello journey or to anyone who has first heard about Trello at this point. So what is Trello? Trello is actually a visual collaboration tool and at the same time, it can also be a productivity tool. As you can see right here, I have several boards already and later i will be explaining to you what a board or what a list or what a card is so quick overview trello can be used for personal use it can be shared as well to your family friends or to your clients and also all information will just be in one place you don't have to have several notebooks or you don't have to have several notepads for you to be able to keep track of the things that you need to do for the day so basically everything that will answer what where when how who and the status of your project will be inside trello and trello also includes links and files and of course stickers if you like stickers but stickers are only available for those with a Trello Gold account or a Trello business account and every card has an email address so that means you can update your cards by using by sending an email to the email address corresponding to that specific card we'll just discuss more about that um, later and it can be used on a browser or an app and it syncs as soon as you have internet it's actually pretty simple as well and it has a very flexible design later you will appreciate more what i meant by saying it's very simple and very flexible if i show you the specifics of every board um, that i have on my screen right now now for board basics anything that you see right here is actually called a board and a Trello board has four key components so boards lists cards and menu to quickly create a board you can just click on this plus icon on the upper right hand corner of your screen and boards represent a project or a place to keep track of information so let's try to create one it will show you that you can click on if you want to create a board if you want to create a team or if you want to create a business team now the only capability that i have with the account that i'm using right now is just to create a board and to create a team because i am using a free account as we speak let me just quickly name this so trello board i am a trello board or a trello board would do so whatever name you want you can do that you can also set the visibility right here if you want to set it to private only board members can see and edit the board so that means you as the admin or the first the, the first person who created the board can access it as well as the other uh, members that you invited to join you in the board also you can um, create a team and that team members of the um, board that you created will be able to access and see um, the board as well and of course you can set it to public if you want it to be published on the internet and if you want more people to look at your boards but of course at this point we don't want that to happen so i'm just going to create private um, let's start with just the personal boards okay so once you have the board name already and you have set the privacy then you just click create board and trello will show you your board and also assign a background to your board you can change the background if you want to by clicking on change background trello has partnered with unsplash so that um, you can use photos from unsplash without having to rock your brains on where to get photos for your background so let me just quickly pick one just you just have to click and automatically your background will change now i'll close that and continue with the list now um we already have a board and we are already looking at the first board and then you just have to click on list for you to add the first 
list. So a list is used to create a workflow or main topic. Lists houses and keeps the cards. So under board is the list and under a list are cards. Now there's no limit to the number of lists that you can add and they can be arranged however you like. So you can drag and drop everything. So let me just quickly show you that one. Let's say for example, we are preparing for a travel. So we are traveling to a ski resort for that matter before the trip that's our first list so here you can probably assign cards for what you need to do prior to your trip so you can put here packing list booking information you might need some flight schedules um budget if ever you live in the philippines like me you might need to have your visa you can put as many lists as you can and um there's no limit and then here it could be visa and then for your cards you can put documentation or documents needed visa appointment photo session because you wanted to have a passport size photo say validity of travel documents photo of passport because it's really advisable that if you travel outside of the country that you have to have a photo or a copy of your passport so that if in case it gets lost you still have the information that you need so that's just a little travel tip from me it's not related to Trello but of course it's something it's an information that's quite handy especially for those who travel often and for sure if you travel often you know that already so <laughs> all right now the next thing would be travel itinerary now see here what i'll be doing i can drag this um travel itinerary list to go where i want it to be placed so if i want the visa to be the first priority of the of this board then i can drag it anywhere i want so i can also add another one say for example during the trip so and done items that are done already like for example i'm done packing so i'll transfer that to done that's how easy it is to work with your trello boards and also if you're done with your visa you can put it in the done area as well or another option is to archive it but i i prefer to just place a done list so that I can still see the progress that I've created already or the, the progress that I've made and if it's archived it will go to the archive folder so you still have to go there and look for it if you want to monitor the progress that you have done so I prefer it this way now as you may have noticed because we have a lot of lists already there's a scroll bar at the bottom so you can scroll there if you want to go over your list especially if you have a Already so many lists under your board let me just quickly discuss what the card is so the card is this one the items under our list right so the cards are the fundamental unit of a board and cards are used to represent tasks or ideas you can drag and drop cards across lists so that's what I showed you earlier and again like list there's no limit to the cards as well so look at the right corner of your screen you will see show menu the menu is actually the mission control of your board so let me just quickly show you the menu here you go you see here that it will show all the activity so everything all the changes all the new things all the items that you add there will be an activity um of the step or the action that you created it will be re recorded here in the activity and say for example you are sharing this board with someone else you will see who made the change and who who deleted something and who moved something who archived something so it's really very efficient now the menu also serves as a place where you can manage members you can control the settings of course let's just quickly click on more so you can see the things here you can put labels you can put collect 
collections or you can see the archived items right here this is um, what I mentioned earlier and you can also see the email to board settings you can watch a board so if you watch a board that means when someone updates it you will get a notification now you can copy board as well if you want to duplicate it say you want this specific board to be the same board as what will you have for your succeeding travel so you can do that then you can just change the particular details in the specific travel board that you are maintaining now you can also filter your cards right here and you can enable power-ups and of course you can see here a link to your board which you can share um, with your team members and then of course you can print and export your board your list and your cards if you want to now let's quickly click on settings and here you can change the team currently we're under the work team for my account and you can comment on permissions and you can add and remove permissions and you can allow other team members to join as well any team member can join this board without being invited to enable this this board can be private so since my board is private i would not be able to have this option available now let's quickly go to labels for example earlier i mentioned about having a done list right another option that you can do um say you can can label this actually so you just click on this pen and you can name so let's say follow up if you haven't bought your tickets yet and <laughs> and you don't have a schedule and your trip schedule is fast approaching so you can very well have some items right here feel free to rename all the labels if you want you can also create a new label i just haven't really reached the maximum number of labels so at this point i don't know how many labels you can create um if you know that please feel free to comment down below so i'll know as well and the other listeners or the other viewers of this video will be able to know that information as well so let's go to flight schedules and i'm going to click labels right here and if i click on follow up a follow-up label would appear in this card so you can see that there when you have your list view on your board the other thing that i'd like to mention with you is for example, um, here we are going to access the documents needed card. So we just have to click on that. And you can rename this card by clicking on it and just rename it. The boards are pretty flexible, like I mentioned earlier. So you can do pretty much whatever you wanted to do then you will have an area for description so you can add a more detailed description about what the card is all about so this is a card where i will list all the documents that i need for my trip all right now click save and that will be there already now notice that when you add something to your card there would be a symbol for the text right there as compared to the other cards without a description all right now you can also add a comment say for example you're sharing this with someone and you can add comments and and you can also tag another team member for your board and of course you can save it now if there are activities then you can obviously um see all the activities right here specific for that card and you can hide the details if you don't want to see all but if you want to show just click on show details and the activities will appear now you can see all the board members right here as well if you already have board members you cannot see anybody else except for my account because i'm the only member so far right now also you can add a checklist for example you don't want to put everything in the description box so just click on checklist and then click add and here um under under the description you'll be able to add a checklist so documents needed plane tickets all right and then add travel insurance what else do we need um doctors approval of something whatever you can add whatever you think that would be, um, make things work for you so once you've accomplished something you just have to click on it and as you can see here in your card view you will see here as well that there's a, um, a symbol for checklist with, which is the square with a check mark and then it will show you how many you have accomplished so i have three items earlier that we 
included in the sample so i checked one so that's one out of three when you're done it's going to show three um over three so it's easy to track it now you can also have a an area for your archived item so let's um quickly add a let's say for example speed trip and we wanted to archive it already so what we need to do is just to click on it and click archive now if we go to the archived items it's going to be there now if you want that archive item to re be returned to the board um view then just click on send to board and it will go back to where it was before if you want to invite other people in your board you can just click on this icon um there's an an avatar and the plus sign so you can invite and then create link now when you click on link it's going to be active for only 24 hours um you can also invite via email address or the name um used in the trello account and of course if you accidentally put it somewhere that you don't want others to see then you can always disable the link that you created all right so that's the basics of trello I'm going to create another video where I show you um, the integration between Trello and Gmail because I've just recently discovered it and um, I don't have extensive exposure to it yet. So I wanted to try it some more before I um, share with you what is it all about and the trello app is available on google play and apple app store and can be used on a laptop as well so that's what i'm doing right now i'm accessing it on my laptop and i also have a trello app on my iphone now there's also an app specifically for your computer as well so let me click on the launch pad and i know i have trello right here there you go so if i click on trello this is the icon so it's gonna show up this is this will show me basically the same thing as what i see on my browser so quickly we go to work and you will see here the trello board that we created earlier so it's gonna show us the same view and i'm not sure why the background is not loading but there you go it's loading right now it's probably because of my internet connection all right so next topic about trello i'm gonna talk about trello card and the card back we did a little bit of an overview earlier as i mentioned about the sections and then we will also be discussing about power-ups and i'm going to show you some more samples if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below i'd love to read your comments and if i missed to mention anything and you and you think that's very important for other viewers to see please let me know comment down below and if you are not following yet please subscribe and um, check out my social media accounts as well where i published updates about the things i do about the projects i'm working on and that stuff i hope you enjoyed the video and again thank you so much for watching you have a great day or great night wherever you are. Goodbye!